Hello, everybody. Welcome to first Algebra 1 SOL review. Uh, first disclaimer, I am not going to be teaching Algebra 1 here. I'm going to be prepping you for the SOL, making liberal use of Desmos. All right, so first one, what is a solution to? And they give you an equation and look for an answer. So using Desmos, I type in the equation, right? 3, 2x minus 1 equals 3. And I look to see it, it then graphs a vertical line. Okay. Graphs my vertical line. I care about where it hits. And it looks like it hit the x axis at 1. So x equals 1. Sample B, what's the value of this when x is 4? Well, you notice that when I type in an x, and this is true for the y's also, it wants to graph something. So when I put 3 over x plus 2 in, I did not use x. I used n. I used 3 over n plus 2. And it wants the value of this when x is 4. So I used n. So I now tell it n equals 4. Now plugs the 4 in. It tells me 0 0.5. Problem is, here it says your answer must be in the form of a fraction. Well, there's a decimal answer. This round button here will convert it from fraction to decimal, vice versa. I click on that, I get one half, and we have one half. Which expression represents four less than half a number? This is one of the few ones where the desmos is no use at all. So four less than. So I know it's subtraction, but because it says less than, I have to reverse the order. So instead of putting a four here, four goes here. Half of a number n could be written like this, or it could be written like that. So both of these would be half of a number. And of course, my one of my choices is here. And we've got our answer to that one. All right, which of the following is a factor of? So the first thing is when I go to factor a trinomial, one, two, three terms, it's going to be x minus something, x minus something. Now I'm going to look at my graph. I'm going to graph x squared minus 6 minus, minus x minus 6, 6c. Six I've typed it in, it graphs the parabola, and I'm looking for where it hits the x-axis. It hits it at negative 2 and positive 3. So negative 2, positive 3. So we got a double negative here, so that's x plus 2 and x minus 3. So those are my two factors. It said which of the following binomials is a factor. It only has one of them here, right? It doesn't have the x plus 2. It only has the x minus 3. So I've got my answer. Again, look to see where it hits the x-axis. Identify each expression that is in the simplest radical form. So what we're looking for now is underneath the square root that can't be simplified anymore, like this one. It's the square root of x. There's no pairs. Remember when we simplified square roots, we looked for pairs. Well, there's only one x. There's nothing else that can be brought out. Now this one, square root of 50y, I can break up the 50. I can do 2 times 25, and then 5 times 5. So I've got a 2 and a couple of 5s, so that would become Remember, there was already an x out there. So I've got the 50 becomes 2, 5, 5, y. I have a pair of fives, and I can bring that out. That was able to be simplified. So I know that is not an answer, because that 50 provided a couple of fives. This one is an answer. There were no pairs to bring out. Look on this one. Look at the square root part. 2xy. 
just focus on the square root part. Don't worry about what's outside. They're asking you which one's been simplified. I have one two, one x, one y. I don't have any pairs that can be brought out. So that's an answer. And then the last one, because it didn't say how many, it says identify each that is simplest radical form. So look at the last one. Um, again, I'm only looking at what's inside the square root. And I'm going to focus, I'm going to, I, I could pick any of these, but I'm going to focus on the x's because what I'm looking for, can I get any pairs? Well, just look at x cubed. x times x times x. Well, that means I have a pair of x's and you could bring one x out. So because that can be simplified, that is not an answer. Okay. These two. What was inside the square root provided no pairs that could be brought out. I could not simplify this any further, so they are already in simplest radical form. All right, which expression is equivalent to? So I've got the original one typed into Desmos, but notice that I'm using n and c, n and c same thing over here i used n minus 6c all right because i don't want to use x's and y's because i can't do the substitution i'm about to do so which expression is equivalent to so one of these four is equal to this so that means when i plug a number in for n and c one of these four is going to be equal to this one. So I stick with three, four, five. I avoid zero, one, two, negative ones, two. Sometimes you get false. We would call it false positives. So three and four. So here's my original expression. So it's going to put three where the n is, four where the c is, and it tells me the answer is negative five. Which one's equivalent? Well, there's only one that matches that answer. The expression equals negative five. This choice equals negative five. It's the n minus two c, and that's going to be the x minus two y. And we are done with that one. Which is equivalent to the cube root of 48 in simplest form. Now, the first thing is you have to remember is when something has been simplified, it is still equal to what it started with, right? Just as a quick example, if you simplify four eighths, that becomes one half, but they're both equal to 0 0.5, right? So you've simplified it, but it's still equal to its original value. So here I'm going to put this and all these in Desmos. So I've got my original and I've left out the second one because I want you, I want to remind you guys how to input cube root of two. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put in six, open this up, my keyboard, go to function, go to miscellaneous and right here square root symbol with the n in the nook. So now I can type in my index, my three, three cube root two. Okay, so which is equivalent to cube root of 48? Well, the cube root of 48 is 3.63. Only one of my answers is 3.63. And we are done because it says which is equivalent to. So which one is equal? What is the value of the square root of 128 in simplest radical form? Again, remember, when you simplify something, it's equal to what you started with. And they're going to do this to you where two of the answers are actually equal to it. So I type in the square root of 128, and then I type in all four of my answer choices. So there's two of them that equal the same thing as the original one. So now we have to decide which of those two, right? So only two of them are equal to it. So those are only two candidates. So I know my answer is either this one. 
and the other one that equals 11.3 was the 4 square root of 48. I can rule these two out. And because it says in simplest radical form, I'm going to look at what's underneath the square root. Remember, when you simplify a square root or a cube root, you take as much stuff out, as many pairs as you can. So you're looking for the smallest number, the one that shows that everything has been removed. This one has a 2, this one has a 8. You could still take some terms out of this. So this is our answer. This one has been simplified. That square root of 8 has not been Which polynomial is equivalent to this expression if n is not equal to, don't let this bother you, this is not important to the question. It's just telling you can't put negative 1 in for n. So you know negative 1 is not one of your answers, and you don't want to put negative 1 in for n. So come over here, I've put in the original expression, and I've typed all four possibilities. And we want the one that's equivalent to this. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to plug something in for n, and only one of these four is going to be equal to this one. Okay? Again, I stick with 3, 4, 5, so I'll put in 3. So when n is 3, this one is negative 3, and the only other one that gives me negative 3 is my second choice, 3 minus 2n. So that is my answer. which is a factor of. So remember, when you factor a trinomial, one, two, three terms, it's going to be in the form of n minus n minus. Now, because I'm going to want to look at the graph of this, when I put this in Desmos, my n's are going to become x's. So now I'm reversing what I did a moment ago when I didn't want the graph, but now I want to see the graph. So I'm going to see, again, it graphs my parabola. You can't see the bottom of the curve. Do that. Oh, maybe a little bit. We never see the bottom of it, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in where it hits the x-axis again. So it hits it at negative 3.5, so n minus negative 3.5. And the other one is at 6, n minus 6. And look says which is, so we're looking for one of them, so this one is one of my answer choices, and we are done, right? If this choice wasn't there, we'd have to do a little bit more work with that one, but it is not, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, which of the following is equivalent to, again, which of these four is equal to that when you plug in numbers for A and B, so once again, you can see I put the original expression in, and I put all four answer choices, and now I have to tell it what to use for A and B, and again, I'm going to use 3 and 4, so A is 3, B is 4, look at my original expression, is 76 point something, right, none of these other ones are even approaching that, the only one that gives me the same answer as the original expression is the first choice. So my final answer is a to the ninth, b to the fourth. And a lot of you guys probably solved this one without using Desmos, but again, I'm doing SOL review to teach you how you can use Desmos to get answers, or at least check your answer. All right. Last one, I believe, I didn't put in the expression um, because I wanted you guys to see how to get absolute value. So we're going to put in negative 2, open the keyboard, absolute value, and I'm going to put in n plus 6. I already told it what n was, negative 15. So it puts negative 15, and it gives me negative 18. And we have our answer. And you can see, not counting the review ones, uh, six of the 
10 questions we solved strictly using Desmos.